Oh yeah, we still got a way. We're gonna go along this full straight. Left, right, left, right, <laughs> and then left into it. Shallow itself. Yeah, I just that, don't know. That could be just a drain at this stage. It is August. Here to go, here to go. Big barra. At this stage, the idea of walking a freshwater creek this afternoon, flicking lures for barra in the shade, having a bloody swim. It's all gone out the window and now it's just try and get through these rock bars and find somewhere to sleep for the night. I don't think we can go back. Good morning guys. Welcome back to another episode up here in Cape York, far north Queensland. Today we're um we've just woken up, we've got a bit of a fire going here. We've got no breakfast, so Dane's gonna cook up a damper. What are you doing, mate? Like a sweet one? <laughs> I'm gonna do a sweet one. Sultanas and Sultanas, custard powder. You told him the secret ingredient, just like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Group there and one group here. We could we could build like a some sort of platform in each one. So, if you missed the episode or a couple episodes back, this is where we've been camping out for a few nights. We built this pretty basic little shelter platform to get up nice and high away from the big lizards in the, in the water. We hope we can trade him in with one of the catamarans out the front for a little refreshment or two. It's been a while. Promise is a So that's the new treat. Custard powder, sultanas, whatever. Oh, a bit of honey on the side. So, but while that's cooking, we're gonna go for a fish across the river here. The tide's running out and um, it's a nice still morning, which is the first morning we've had that's like this. We should probably be out there fly fishing, but out on those sand caves, but we didn't really think of it in time. Didn't know this, this wind was gonna be light. So we're gonna shoot across here and fish. There's two drains there. We're gonna fish them, not for long, maybe for half an hour to, to an hour. This is our little survival shelter. Um, we've built this to be up really high from the big saltwater crocodiles that are living in this system. We've been droning a lot of really big crocodiles lately, so we just didn't want to take any chances. We wanted to build a nice little camp, get up nice and high, and um, just be safe and sleep really well, which we have been. The hammocks have been amazing. We've had nice cool mornings. We've actually got a sleeping bag in each of the hammocks, and it's been really good. So. We're gonna do that, have a bit of a fish, and then we're thinking we're gonna shoot way up river, which is about, what did I say? 50, 50 kilometers. Yeah, 40 something, 46 something. 46 kilometers to this second branch in the river, which on Google Earth looks like it goes into fresh water. So I'm assuming then maybe another 20 kilometers up into the fresh. Um, hopefully we've got enough fuel for that. So that's the thing, we gotta load up the boat with all our fuel, save enough to get way back up the coast to the land cruisers. Um, but I really want to show you guys something different, something new. We'd quite happily just sit here and fish this system and around the mouth for like a week, two weeks and just chase those big barra, but it gets a bit boring, a bit monotonous for you guys watching. So we're gonna we're gonna find some new country, which is what Wild Reach is all about. 
that's why I love doing what we do because filming it makes me go to new spots instead of fishing the same spots that, that I know work. Um, and then come back down to here tomorrow and keep fishing this area and come up with something new for you guys. So we'll see how this damper goes and then we'll get fishing. You didn't actually cook any, well usually we try and keep something or cook something the day before for breakfast so we don't have to do it in the morning but last night we made a couple of new friends on a on a catamaran and got back a little bit later than what we thought so we forgot so this morning we started the fire i'm gonna do a damper but i'm gonna do it with a new ingredient that we found what we're putting in this today's damper is custard powder i'm gonna chuck it in the water i don't know actually how much to do just guess it it's usually about half of that thing half a kilo of flour custard powder in the water we've had it a couple of times now and it's really good you don't really have to measure anything you just sort of do it you probably could but we've been chucking sultanas in ours it breaks up that flavor it's pretty good While I'm doing this, Nate's gonna prep the boat. I don't think we've do the dishes. And do the dishes. That's the go. Do the dishes. Prep the boat. We're actually just gonna get the boat ready. We're just gonna duck over. We've picked a little bite time. That's in 35 minutes. So we're just gonna prep the boat a little bit. We're gonna duck over to a little drain. Flick that, try and catch some food. If we don't have anything at all. We gave all our fish away yesterday. To the people that don't really fish that as often as we do. And um, yeah, so we need to catch fish again before we go on our big run up the river. So I thought, while we're fishing, I'll just do this damper, chuck it on the coals, and that can cook. And actually, the custard powder too, lets it rise, expand and stuff. Like if you do a normal damper without yeast, I guess it'll just stay pretty much at the same size. This thing rises up, gets all fluffy. It's really good. And All just. Right, mate. I'm gonna get fishing. Yep. You'll have brekkie ready when I get back. Uh, you got a bit of washing to do there, bud. It's soaking. <laughs> Righto, holes dug. Took about one second. Glad I put you guys down for that so you didn't have to watch. medium sort of heat, you don't want to just smoke it or else the middle won't cook. Alright, nice little pad. I think it's probably a bit hot, but we've got to go fishing. Now when we come back, this will be bakery quality bread. Dampers in the sand oven. Camp's an absolute mess. We haven't cleaned that up yet. We're about to go fishing. We're gonna leave that for later. Nice down here in the boat, drifting off somewhere. I don't know what he's doing. What's going on, mate? Sorted. Yeah. 
sorted. Thought you, were, go. thought you were bloody stranded out there for a minute. No, it's just bloody getting everything ready. Well, this drain here is absolutely loaded with mullet. Look at them right from there, right in. And they're all got their heads up. So I'm, I was thinking about fishing here. Not marking any big fish out the front or structure. But it could be alright. I would imagine Barra would be sitting off here as the water's running out. Oh, look at that croc slide there. You can see his tracks going up. This is where we spotted that big crocodile. Well, not that big, probably three, three and a half metres yesterday afternoon. Sitting up in here. This, creek's must, this creek here must be his territory. Got to keep those lenses clean. Keep the viewers happy. Baby croc. Just there. Nose up to the bank there. Start. He knows we're there. He knows we're here. There he goes. Hey guys. That's wild, eh? That's why you gotta be careful up here. He's only a little one, but you imagine him almost three times that length. Yeah, three times that length. And, and thick. so much thicker. And just as cocky and cunning. And they wanna eat you. <coughs> Look at him, this guy's gone. It's crazy. Big croc will normally, if they're way more cunning, they'll disappear under the water and you won't see them. I think it is. Yeah, he's a baby. Oh, he's gone. Oh, the snag's moved. Alright, we're out of time. We're going to go back and check the camper. <coughs> Just a quick little fishing session that was, but it was cool to see that tiny little crocodile. What a cocky bugger he was. So we'll shoot back and um, check the dam part and have a, hopefully have a feed. Pack up camp, pack the hammocks up, and head straight into the sun. That way, hopefully we'll find some fresh water. Oh, it'd be so good to have a swim. If we can find fresh water, have a wash. Jeez, I hope this damper's not burnt. I've been picking it nuts all morning, but I'm bloody starving. Super excited though for this next journey up the river, into the unknown, a spot we've never been to before. You pulled it out yet? Yep. Just waiting to be joined by the audience. Well, I'll happily join you. I'm starving. Oh, it looks pretty good. I was worried it's going to be charcoal. Did a damper like this the other day in foil. Error. It just burnt. 
burnt about one inch in. It was just black. It was too hot. Oh yeah, look at that. There we go. It's the goods, isn't it? It's the goods. I reckon it goes yellow with that mm. custard yeah. powder. Mm. Smell it, that's so good. Let it cool down a bit, which is going to be difficult. Just a little bit ashy. Look at those sultanas are like warm and mm. gooey. Yeah. Oh, they're so warm. That's delicious, Look at that one. It's all like well caramelized. It should be so good with some honey. Are you sitting on the honey? Um, possibly. So this is the food that we brought for a, a week. Yep. No one showed you yet. There's not a whole lot. I don't think it's in here. Oh, there it is. Honey. Yeah. That one's a bit of a surprise. We can't show you that one. But yeah, sultanas, coconut milk, the uh, fish sauce and stuff, a bit of olive oil, soy sauce. Half a beer for the damper. Mm. We're going to do that one later. Yeah, well, I didn't want to do a beer damper for breakfast. True, day. okay. A bit early. A bit of rice. And some oats oh, and some potatoes potatoes in there too shout out to my wife she bought us bloody how many kilos of potatoes for the trip a lot <laughs> and i think we've had like four potatoes she bought she bought us bought us a lot of potatoes far too many mm. so we have to share them good i thought you were going to give that bit to me <laughs> <laughs> no. Dane's just gone to fill up the water. We've just gone over and said good day and goodbye to our mates over on the catamarans. Really nice people. Um, I think they're heading up the coast and we're going up river and coming back tomorrow, so we probably won't see them again. So that's the plan we're going to head up to. We think we're going to go, we've called it the supermarket, the barra hole, that we're catching all these barra. Go there and pick up a barra for probably for dinner tonight, just so we know we've got one takes the pressure off a bit and then we can just shoot right up and just you know fish where we want to fish and there's no pressure to catch food. So we hit the supermarket eh? Vibes. Hopefully it's out of the wind we can pull up a fish. We can use the sausage. Oh, yeah. Good idea. We some big dogs down there trying to pull up a big girl. And then um, yeah up river. See what we can find. We have arrived. If you haven't been watching the recent episodes, Dane and I have been fishing this stretch. Not much really, we've come here twice for like not even an hour each time and we've just hit so many barra and like de like half decent barra, you know, up to 78 might have been the biggest one here. 72, 78. Dane, 72, hooked up. Dane dropped a horse yesterday. Possibly. We didn't see it. Didn't see it, but it was, a it was peeling. Cod peel too. Um, all right, let's turn that off. Make sure the lens is clean. No one whinges. Oh, I don't know if that's going to stop him. <laughs> <laughs> There'll always be a whinger. All righty. Get some food. We haven't been here on this tide yet. No. This is the run out tide. We've only fished it on a run in. Oh, that's weird. And it's really moving. It is, it's the it? first good tide we've seen. Now it's got a vibe on, which is pretty much, I'm not going to say it. Don't say it. No, I won't say anything. I won't say anything, but. They're an exceptional lure at, at this location. Let's just go straight to the aisle that we know has fish in it. I wonder if 
we jinxed it called it the supermarket. Like the supermarket on a public holiday today. What do you guys think? What do you want to see? The supermarket's not producing. It's the opposite tide to what we normally fish it at. And I think it's a better hole. It's a better system in a, on a run-in tide. Whereas the other, the other spot we found yesterday was a run-out spot. It's a little drain. Um, and we, we found some barra there. So I reckon we hit, go there today and hit that. There's way more run today. Dane's found himself a snag again. Show us the flick. He's got it, first shot. Just like that. There you go. If you watch that, make sure you go to our website and um, tips and tricks. Tips and tricks. Just leave a few dollars there on Patreon. Yeah, it's just have we just done an epic cookbook. <laughs> Get another stinking cod. Spot number two. Spot two. Spot two. I'm throwing a vibe in. Same. One fish, eh? One fish. Oh, well. One good fish. One good fish. Heaps of water moving through here today. Oh, I'm marking the fish. Boat there. Now I'm leaving the motor running, you can probably hear it because I have the Inverida running in the console here charging all the drone batteries. And uh, I'm just charging that battery back up. Just mark the fish on the side scan. It's on the starboard side. Catfish. <laughs> There's a problem with vibes when you're bouncing on the bottom, you get things like catfish and all the bottom feeders. This guy here is a little cod and he's probably just legal. Cod, or do we take the chance? Then we're gonna find more. Take the chance. <laughs> we're taking a chance. Time and we want to be up way up river. We got how far? 50 kilometers to go. Oh, I don't know. It looks like a good feed, though, doesn't it? It does, but Let's take a chance. Yeah, okay. Go. We're taking a chance. This fish is a rock right here, right? Yeah. Okay, we just marked a few fish out off the mouth of this. So we're just gonna cruise back in there on the electric. And um, have a few flicks. You guys know the drill. About 10 casts each and then keep moving. So it's about a 50 kilometer run and I reckon we've done maybe five. It's been a very slow start. Straight on. Weird spot for cod to be sitting. Big barra. Big barra. Give him, give him, let him go. Uh, I don't know, he's doing growth, I think. Just not doing much. It's either a stingray or a Queensland groper. <laughs>
I reckon that's a groper, eh? For a big cod. So we get we get a species, I don't know if a lot of you know about this stuff, I'm just gonna tell you anyway, a species up here. I don't know why they're called a Queensland groper, because they're straight, they're all the way across to bloody the Kimberleys. But Queensland groper and they're protected, we can't keep them. You've got to put them back in the water safely as quick as you can. But they get huge, like I've seen them over two and a half meters and like a 44 gallon drum, like massive. Um, could be a big barrel. Uh, I don't know, I'm hoping. He's been optimistic. <laughs> But we can't keep it anyway. No. Can you just keep that groper out there? Away from everything? No. So I can catch a good fish. This thing is going to do whatever it wants. Oh dear. That's enough for Dane and his stingray. Let's see what Nate's got. Mine's a bit faster. Oh, you on? Oh, it is a barra. Yes. Can I get him in? Yes! Yes! Legal Looks food. just legal. Jeez, he's silver. Isn't he? I reckon that's him all schooling up in there. We found him. There you go, guys. Little barra, perfect eating size. Well, it took us a couple of hours this morning, but we found him. Might have a few more casts here, but at least we've got our lunch. We can shoot upstream now and just explore, <clears throat> have fun, find a camp, and we've got food. Bloody stoked. I'm going to give him a quick measure just to make sure. Phew! 61 centimetre barra. They seem to be the rats here, eh? Yeah. There's heaps of them at that size. Alright, we'll brain spike him, bleed him. How are you going, mate? Look like you're flat out. Flat out hanging on. Imagine just goes... Shakes its head. <laughs> Metre 20. <laughs> I'd probably kick you overboard. So pissed off it wasn't me. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I don't know, man. It's doing weird things. See here <laughs> on the side scan. Whatever. Well, I've got not. Yes. Here we go. How long has it been? Twenty minutes. No. Half an hour. Half an hour. You can see the braid to leader there. Here we go. Here we go. Back to the bottom. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, it's probably going to happen a couple of times, though. Oh, man. It's all right, though. There you go. Look at all this action going on down here. Can't work out what it is, though. Is that a crocodile or what? Pretty unlucky to hook a, to foul hook a crocodile with a vibe. Oh, it's all happening. I really want to send the drone up, but I don't want to miss the action. He's going to name me to net it if it is a big fish. Oh, there's a good fish too, look at that. Fish with a shadow. It's a good corner this one. Just lost it. Just pulled the hook. Turn the camera off because it's taken 35 minutes. You didn't put any more hurt on him though, did you? No. If it makes you feel any better, I don't think it was a big barrier. Oh, man. How frustrating is it though, like just not knowing? Yeah. It's the worst. That was an anti-climax, but that was only like three casts into this little drain, so I think we'll just go back and click a couple more. And then we really need to get upstream because it's probably nearly two o'clock right now. 
we've probably still got a good hour running if we just go for it. Let's just try again, guys. It's all around the boat. I'm it's like full load. <laughs> Girlfriend. Yeah. Alright, well that's lunch sorted. Lunch and a bit of fun. Um, now I'll probably just punch out an hour or so, just punching up the river. At least we've got glass out conditions. It's absolutely beautiful here today. Keep an eye out for rock bars and sandbars and stuff on the sounders. We'll see you guys up in the freshwater. Hopefully. Set a track for the route. This catfish has got this nasty spine there, and then one on each of these. Do you not want those to get you? Just a little one, go straight back in the drink. Well, I hope we didn't get a better fish off that. And look at the timber there behind me. I was watching Dane's lure, literally just bouncing through on the stick. Nothing. Good. It's crazy, hey? Yeah. I did the same with the vibe, I could feel it bouncing around the stick. Sandbar. Really exciting, it's all starting to change. Oh, look at the timber. Look at this stuff up here on the port side. This is a rock bar, I think. Look in front there. Maybe. I just put the camera down for a sec then because it was getting super shallow. You can see it all through here now. Look at that. That's a rock bar. This is why you have to be so careful exploring these systems. We're in two and a half metres now, but we when it gets to a point six or something and then dropped out in the sounder. And then we were just pretty much I knocked it out of gear and you could feel the, the leg of the motor just tapping against the rock. We bounced on it a couple of times. Have a go at it. So from here on out, we're gonna have to be really careful. Bro, I just said to Dane that we've got bigger tides at the moment, coming into a full moon. Um, We've got the spring tides coming, so, you know, bigger lows, but also bigger highs. So if we come back tomorrow morning, we're going to have a nice high tide to get over this. Hopefully we can get through to where we're going. 1.8, 1.7, 1.6, 1.5, 1.4. Yeah. It looks shallow, like sandy shallow, doesn't it? We're through that, yeah. We're through the rock bar. Have a look at it there from that angle. Yeah, that's why you don't come screaming through these new systems. You bloody rip the leg off the motor.
I just sent the drone up, have a bit of a look around, a bit of a scout, and it just looks so bloody dry and arid everywhere. I can't imagine there being this beautiful freshwater creek that we're, we're imagining, but it still could be there, we, I don't know. Um, we've got 10 kilometers to go till we get to the mouth of this, this said creek. And this rock bar through here is really sketchy. Um, as you know, we bumped into it down there. This second stretch of it is just, the sound just keeps dropping out. Uh, up ahead up here, there's another big sandbar, like a sand spit, like this thing, uh, which could be another rock bar off to the side of it. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. So we either turn around now and head back, or we push up another, it's 10 kilometers to go, push up another 10 kilometers and just hope that we can find somewhere to camp. Don't know yet. The problem is if we keep going further and we can't camp or we can't get through and we try and come back, the tides drop that little bit lower, we won't be able to get through this rock bar. We're stuck between the two. Oh, mate. It's bloody shallow through here guys. This has turned out to be quite the mission. So we're just motoring with the electric because we don't want to do a prop. If you do a prop up here, like you spin a prop or something, we're in all sorts of trouble. Oh, geez, it's bright out there. It's friggin' hot. Mid thirties, I reckon no breeze. We're actually going with the breeze, so it's dead still. Another rock bar. Little tiny wallaby watching. Two of them. Oh, it's so cute. So little. Actually, they wouldn't see many people up here. They'd be wondering what we are. At this stage, the idea of walking a freshwater creek this afternoon, flicking lures for Barra in the shade, having a bloody swim. It's all gone out the window and now it's just try and get through these rock bars and find somewhere to sleep for the night. I don't think we can go back. We couldn't leave the boat here though, that's point. Oh, I suppose you could. It's not even reading right now. There's point seven. You might not have a choice. Too risky going back. We're on the bottom. Look how wide this river is and we're on the bottom. Uh, I don't know if we're going to make it, mate. can't get over there, even further back, no. we'll cut off. I think, let's check where we are. Need the airboat, eh? Oh yeah, we've still got a way. We're gonna go along this full straight, left, right, left, right, <laughs> and then left into it. Now that could be, uh, and that could be, shallow itself yeah I just that, don't know that could be just a drain at this stage it is august it hasn't been rain for ages it's not so long. if it was a big river you think this would be i mean this is wide though isn't it 
There's a big river. Bloody shallow. We're literally sitting on the bottom right now, guys. Wondering what to do. I don't, I don't even know if we could make it back to the mouth. We could give it a go. It's a time, 4.30. We've got two hours till dark. If we don't make it though, and we're stuck with those rock bars, we're sleeping in the mangroves. I don't really feel like pulling up camp and sleeping up here. That's our other option. I don't reckon you can see big trees up through there, but that would mean leaving the boat in, well, it's not even reading, but it was half a metre of water. Yeah, half a metre of water. With the bottom full of mud. Could get suction. Yeah, it could suck down then when the tide comes in eventually, midnight tonight, the boat stays put. <laughs> Probably wouldn't happen, but it could. Oh man, it's devastating. We've been planning this for so long. <laughs> looked good on Google Earth, didn't it? It did look good on Google Earth. It looked like you could go heaps further. Yeah. But past that next creek. Yeah. Oh, that's a tough decision. I don't think we can get up. We can't get up there. We need a bigger tire. It's super tight or dependent. Drops the meter bar and we can't get up the river. Little crocodile over there. You guys probably can't see him with GoPro. Only a little one. It's bloody hard to see anything with this sun, but we're running the electric motor. The motor guide through this rock bar, or through all the rock bars if we can. Um, I'd rather do a prop or a shear pin on the electric motor than do a prop on the main motor. So that's the plan at the moment, we're just, we're just pushing back and hopefully we'll get back before dark. I'm just going to stop looking at all these snags. I marked so many good snags on the way up here to fish. Just going to have tunnel vision on the way home. Dane's just having a look to see up here if we can camp up here tonight. We're running out of light. There was a good fishing hole back there. It looked really good. Wouldn't mind fishing that now. But if we do it, it means we can't get back to camp. This is pretty much the last uh, 300 metres here of Rock Bar. And I think we're right from there to get back. Right, we made it back to our honey hole. Um, we've got a little bit of light left. So we're true to while it reaches form, instead of going to setting up camp, we're gonna push it. Fish to the dark. We got a wide one. Check out this moon, guys. <sighs> so cool. I'm not going to come through on the GoPro, but that is so bright. www.wideregis.com Season 
before that, so an OG shirt, that one. The mosquitoes are out, and um, the barrow don't seem to be biting. So I think we're just going to shoot around the corner here. It's not far now to camp, and we've got to re-anchor the boat and do all that. Today was a bit frustrating, but still, it was nice to see this river. Um, I'd love to spend more time up around those rock bars. That was beautiful. What was Dane on? No. Um, Dane hooked a monster. We still don't know what that was. We caught a couple of little barra, which was fun. We've still got that good barra to have for dinner. So yeah, we'll probably get back to camp, get the fire going, get some smoke happening for these mosquitoes. Um, set up our hammocks back on that nest. Dane's called it the nest. Our little croc survival bloody pontoon nest thing. And um, we'll see all you guys tomorrow. I think tomorrow morning we might... Look at those colours. Oh yeah, look at these colours. Unreal, hey. We're in absolute paradise here. Tomorrow we're going to try the sand flats out the front, hey? Get the fly rods out, depending on the wind. Yeah. Maybe the spears. Yeah, we'll do something. Yeah, we'll go check it we'll out. something early. We'll see what the wind's doing early, yeah, and we'll, we'll try and get out there onto the flats. Take you guys with us, and then come in here for the afternoon bite and try and find some new barra spots and um, chase some big girls around. I, re I really want to chase some big girls. So that's tomorrow. Come back for the next episode, which will be next week. Every Saturday, Wild Reaches. Um, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tell your mates. Jump on and buy some merch if you haven't already. And if you already have, thanks for supporting us. It really helps get us up here and do this and you know all the editing and all that stuff that I'm gonna pump out. It really helps it, helps us along. So thanks for the support guys. Um, yeah, see you on the next one. See you later. At this stage, the idea of 